the particular story around our question of the day, uh, talking to the scooter program that was launched last month by the health minister, Dr. Zweli Mkize. Now, uh, Minister Mkize says that the Eastern Cape did not consult his department on the specifications of the medical scooters that the province procured. And he was speaking in a written reply to a parliamentary question by DA Member of Parliament, Sivewe Hwarube, who wanted to know if the scooters were suitable for transporting patients and whether the National Health Department was consulted before the procurement. And uh, Dr. Mkize says that the scooters do not meet the criteria for transporting patients. And he says that the province has been informed that none of the scooters should be used as ambulances. So the province awarded the, that tender to a King Williamstown company. It was a 10 million rand tender to procure 100 scooters. And we're joined now by the head of the Eastern Cape Health Department, Dr. Tobile Mbengashe. Thanks so much for your time this morning, Dr. Mbengashe. Good morning to you, Sakina. Your initial response to uh, the statement that was issued by the Department of Health nationally. Yeah, I, I think what, what's really important is that the minister really confirmed the point that the scooters cannot be used as an ambulance and this, this was never really an intention to use the scooters as an ambulance. So they don't, they don't meet the criteria in terms of National Health Act in terms of what an ambulance could be. What's really been an issue for us is really to clarify two main issues. One, the department is not buying scooters for transportation of patients. Two, the department is buying scooters for use by really community health workers in moving from home to home. The second one is for the distribution of medicines. But what's really important is that when the distribution of the scooter was shown off, it was actually showing off what it is actually capable of actually doing. But our tender is not for a scooter for transportation of patients. So what are we seeing then in the visual that we just played, uh, which was obviously showed to us at the time when this project was launched, where people were actually loaded onto these scooters. Uh, they have uh, drip stands, uh, for example, they equipped with waterproofing. Uh, and uh, so what exactly is that for if it's not meant to transport patients? Yeah. Now, remember the, the specifications on the scooters for in terms of the procurement processes does not include the transportation of patients. And that's what really I'm talking to. But what the manufacturers and, and the means in terms of capability of their scooters is that they can actually do these other things. But that's not what we bought in terms of our, of our contract. We bought scooters that are going to be used by community health workers. We bought scooters that are going to be used to distribute medicines to patients. And I think what's really important is that the demonstration was really to show what is the capabilities of these scooters. But those capabilities can only be used if they are part of the registration and they are allowed to actually in terms of the, in terms of, of the, of the transportation of patients within the, uh, the regulations within the department. So we are not buying scooters to transport patients. We are only buying scooters to transport community health workers and making sure that medicines are delivered. But Mr. Mbengashe, Dr. Mbengashe, you would agree that that is not what was actually put out to the public initially. Uh, not only the, were there demonstrations with other people who could possibly be patients uh, shown uh, to show the capability of those scooters, the Minister of Health himself got onto one of those, as did the MEC of Health in the province. And I ask you again, if those are not meant to transport patients, why would you do and have something like a drip stand on them? What would that be for? Yeah. No, I, I think, Sakina, I'm losing you. Uh, what I understand you're asking me is that uh, the scooters themselves, in terms of what they can do with the stretcher, with the drip, that what what was demonstrated of the capability of the scooter. What I'm talking to is what are we buying from the Department of Health in terms of the tender that we offered up. We are not buying scooters that are going to transport patients. Our specifications are for the transportation of the community health workers and the distribution of medicines. Um, 
Dr. Mbengashe, with the greatest respect, I'm going to put it to you that you are being disingenuous because when the Department of Health issues a statement and says they've told you now uh, to basically not use those scooters, uh, why would they say that if indeed those scooters were purchased for a particular service and uh, that service cannot now be rendered using those scooters? If you had indeed procured them for the simple purpose of transporting, um, uh, be it medication, as you say, uh, for moving uh, equipment around from one place to another that may be inaccessible. Why would the department say, they, say in their statement that you cannot now use those scooters? I think what, yeah, what, 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 is, what is the minister's statement, which is really true, that it's really clarifying the confusion. I think the confusion out there is that we're bought scooters, we are replacing ambulances, we're using these scooters to transport patients. I think the demonstration itself also reinforces that a bit, that a sense that we bought scooters to transport patients. I think what is being clarified now is that we are not buying scooters to transport patients. We are buying scooters to transport community health workers and buy medicines. What the tender specified did not specify the transportation of patients for our scooters. And what we will buy with the 10 million we will not buy scooters that we have. What was really demonstrated was the capabilities and innovation that it can be possible to put those kind of sidecar to put patients. And what you saw there was actually that can actually be done. But that's not what we bought. It's what the scooters are actually capable of doing. So I'm very confused at this point, Dr. Mbengashe. So let me rather move this to asking you, because now you're speaking of what you haven't bought, uh, what you have bought, but at the time of the launch, it was said that you had procured these scooters at a cost of 10 million rand for 100 of these scooters for the said purposes, which you then went on to demonstrate. But who was responsible in any event for approving and then procuring the 10 million? Uh, million rand scooters because now you're saying something else so have you actually procured them yeah we have oh, I, I didn't get your last point we have we have actually went on the tender we have actually had specification we have actually issued a, a, a tender to a local supplier of the scooters we have now on the process of actually formalizing the final process of purchasing. But before we purchase, we have actually developed what is called a due diligence to actually do what a post-bid negotiation in terms of the price, the cost, and all the refinements that are in the scooters. Once that process is complete, we will then issue the purchase order. But I think what's important is that there was a demonstration of the scooter's capabilities. And I think that's what captured the, uh, the broader discussions on the scooters. The demonstration showed what the scooter is capable as compared to what we actually bought. I think that's really where the confusion actually took place. So, bottom line, have you or have you not procured those scooters? Have you awarded the tender? We have awarded the tender. So that means you have procured have the scooters. The tender not to, we have an awarded a tender. The tender is not for patient transportation. The tender is for community health worker transportation. And the tender is for transportation of medicine, but not to carry patients in the scooter. So what exactly does the tender specification uh, say? What does, what does it say in the document? What exactly are you procuring to the tune of 10 million rand? We are procuring a, scoot, a, a, a motorbike that's modified to carry medicines, that is actually capable of going off-road, and that is actually capable to carry a, a, a community of workers to do a door-to-door -door services in the, in the department. The capabilities of the scooters as a broader project is that it is actually capable of having to carry a patient. The scooter is, can actually be used as a mobile clinic that's not what we bought, it, but it's what is capable, what the scooter is capable in terms of the manufacturers and their specification. But that's not what we bought.
All right, let me move this along. According to an article this morning in the Daily Maverick, the chairperson of the Eastern Cape uh, Legislature's Health Committee, uh, Kolile Dibaza, says that they had been alarmed to suddenly see the procurement of those motorcycles uh, for use by health workers, as you say, they've been procured for. They had not received any documentation regarding this purchase until, and I quote, uh, then suddenly the scooters appeared on page 15 and 16 of the MEC for Health's policy speech. How do you respond to that? Yeah, the MEC is make a policy speech, and the policy speech is it then is brought into the public. The, requ the requirement for me as an accounting officer is, is to find what's been in the policy speech. There is a process in terms of how the policy speeches are, to, are discussed within the political system before, before their policies. I think what the, what the chairperson is saying in the discussions on the policies, whether he, he says that he was not informed about that. Of course, the policy speech is a process that really gets into those systems. Now, what's important is that once a matter is on the policy speech, my obligation as an accounting officer is to find what is in the policy speech. Now, on some matters actually in the policy speech, there will be items, what is called budget line items, that will be very clearly designated and they will be afforded the price. 10 million of these uh, scooters could actually be, it's, it's an ordinary procurement on a daily basis. So it is possible that it wasn't there, and I'm sure it was not there because it was not really significant enough to be on to that. But it was in the policy speech. Could you also respond to something else that Dimaza said, and I quote, uh, we must receive an annual report and an annual performance plan, and the department must tell us how they will use the money that they had been given. The motorcycles were not in any of their reports. It wasn't in the performance plan, and we were not given anything to approve. And that was said by Dimaza. Uh, how do you respond to that? No, no, I, I think it's correct into that, but really the issue there, it's not so much of a discrepancies in the work that we do. In the APP, what is an annual performance plan, there is a number of indicators in which we're actually monitored by. Some of those indicators actually appear into that, and there's an appropriation that's allocated. There are many other things that we don't actually provide. For instance, there are many other elements that will be in the policy speech that we don't provide. But as long as it is in the policy speech, because we still have another process, which is an, a, an edit process of a procurement, which is an open, transparent process, which provides the oversight and be able to do the regulation and create the, the due diligence of the procurement. So I am not surprised that they were not in the speech. And I don't think it's, uh, there's something that's amiss if not having them onto, this, uh, onto, the, onto the APP. Well, it's so unfortunate that we got to you late, uh, Dr. Mbengashe, but we unfortunately have to leave it there. And I'm sure you will extend more opportunity to the SABC to ask further questions on this. Um, the head of the Eastern Cape Health Department, Dr. Tobile Mbengashe, uh, discussing uh, both the province's situation in terms of COVID-19 and especially responding to that 10 million rand scooter issue. And uh, as I said, sad that we got him so late, but of course, SABC not going anywhere. Hopefully we'll follow up on that interview.